Hello everyone, welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. In this video, I will discuss about the dynamic SQL and uh, within the dynamic SQL, I will discuss about the uh, store procedure, uh, how you can implement uh, store procedure in the dynamic SQL concept and uh, also I will, I will discuss in the detail uh, what is the reusability of the store procedure in the uh, term of the dynamic SQL. Uh, how you can convert the daily work, uh, uh, manual work to the uh, reusability point of view. So the code will be error free and uh, also we have, we can shape the uh, budget hour in the term of the development or the uh, UAT or the QC. So I will discuss in the detail and this video is very helpful to you for the uh, real time working point of view. So if you not subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and uh, please install my mobile application. It is the study IT education, which is available in the Google Play Store. And if you want to enroll any of the courses, uh, you can go ahead and they enroll uh, all the training material related to SQL, uh, like the interview question, video, training material, each and everything is available. And uh, we have the very good uh, discount as well. So uh, let's start with this uh, video, uh, like uh, uh, in the last video, I will dis I already discuss uh, the concept of the dynamic SQL. So if you didn't get a chance, uh, please go ahead and watch the video 72 and 71 first. So last video, I discussed that uh, dynamic SQL concept is the basically used to uh, execute the code dynamically. So if you have any, any, any of the variable, which is the uh, hard coded so how you can convert into the uh, store procedure so uh, no need to be update any, any anything in the code so you can use as a reusability point of view as a store procedure so in the last uh, video i will discuss that uh, we uh, created one source path where we mentioned the location and uh, if you change the location of the path the data will be automatically uploaded into the table and they will up, update into the uh, uh, table that is the called a deem employee table we have the uh, column called uh, phone number and the phone number will be automatically upload update uh, within the uh, basically uh, whatever the data have in the file okay so uh, so i am going to discuss about how you can convert this code into the store procedure so last code we only one uh, variable we have that uh, we need to frequently change the path so uh, we can create the store procedure as the source path is the input parameter so uh, before creating the store procedure uh, we you need to be uh, check that uh, procedure is already available in the database so by checking we need to be use the if exist command so if exist select null from uh, sys object where name is equal to procedure name and type is equal to p, p is the p is the procedure so this concept you can also use for the checking the view checking the table and if the procedure is already available in the database you need to be first drop the table uh, sorry drop the procedure and then you can uh, create the procedure so in the procedure i am writing the create procedure procedure name and the input input parameter is the source path okay so uh, source path have the end where care 4000 and i use the as begin and the same we already have this uh, source path as a uh, input parameter so in the code whatever we have we need to be remove it or you can uh, comment this line of the code okay so uh, basically uh, all the code is the same which i discussed in the last video so that where I will not discuss in this video. So if you want, you can go and watch the complete. I already discussed in the last video 72 and uh, uh, that store procedure got created. So now uh, you can just install the store procedure. So before installing, let me show you this table. Uh, we don't, we don't have data updated. So you can see we have the phone number is the uh, basically uh, 320 but in the excel file we have the different phone number uh, okay so now if you run this code so you can see the store procedure got installed in this database uh, training new and uh, my file is located into uh, e drive so 
नाउ आई नीड टू बी रन दिस प्रोसीजर एंड द सोर्स पाथ वी नीड टू बी गिव द पाथ नेम सो वन टाइम द प्रोसीजर विल बी इंस्टॉल इट विल बी फिक्स इंस्टॉल इन द डेटा बेस एंड एनी वन हु हैव द एक्सेस ऑफ दिस डेटा बेस इन द रियल टाइम दे कैन अपडेट द डेटा जस्ट चेंजिंग द पाथ हियर ओके सो इफ यू रन दिस कोड यू कैन सी द मोबाइल नंबर कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अपडेटेड हियर ओके सो न्यू कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अपडेटेड हियर ओके नाउ सपोज इन द फ्यूचर इफ सम अदर डेवलपर हैव द डिफरेंट पाथ लाइक लेट मी चेंज द पाथ हियर सो इफ यू इफ एनी ऑफ द डेवलपर हैव द डिफरेंट पाथ दे जस्ट नीड टू बी चेंज द पाथ हियर ओके सो लाइक आई एम चेंजिंग द पाथ हियर सो यू कैन चेंज द पाथ so path like uh, i have the different data for the uh, employee one in the path in this path so if you run this code you can see the whatever a data is available in that file the, you can see this contact information got updated here okay so uh, this is a very uh, useful scenario uh, whatever we using in the real time so this concept is called the reusability point of view reusability store procedure so we can reuse the store procedure so if you attend the uh, any interview related to the uh, sql and if interviewer will ask you uh, what is the reusability concept so uh, you can answer that uh, whenever we have code to uh, reuse uh, for the other uh, uh, other requirement or other data update so we can create the procedure and uh, we can reuse the procedure Uh, also uh, the store procedure for this uh, if you compare with this code store procedure code and uh, without store procedure code if you file have the uh, data more than million record uh, large amount of data you have then uh, performance wise is good as compared to store procedure and the reason is the procedure is uh, reusing the execution plan so uh, that is the major advantage of the store procedure and the second major major advantage is the if the one time the procedure is the error free uh, there is no chances of the error okay so uh, this is the second major uh, advantage and third uh, we need to be we can save the budget hour like if you uh, developing from the scratch again for the other developer they charge the all the hour which the time is required so uh, we can save the development hour we can save the testing hour we can save the uat hour so uh, that is the major advantage uh, for the uh, reusability point of view so this concept is very useful uh, for the real time interview point of view and real time uh, still have any doubt still have any confusion uh, you can ask all the question in the video uh, com uh, comment box or uh, Uh, you can also connect uh, with my social media platform which is available in the video description and uh, you can also connect uh, on the website which is mentioned in the uh, video description so don't forget to subscribe if you are new in my channel thank you so much